You're listening to Factual America. What is the last hillbilly about? Um, well, it's a, it's a film about a, a world that is kind of on the verge of uh, disappearing, or there is a, a sense of uh, an era that comes to an end, and it's uh, embodied in the path of uh, of a, a, a man that's called Brian Ritchie that lives in uh, Eastern Kentucky. So, who is a hillbilly, which is a, a word that is famous in America, but it's uh, not that famous uh, outside of it. And so it's uh, it's kind of it's an insult, like it's a cliche of uh, people that live in Appalachia. Mm-hmm. And so uh, it's uh, we go through his uh, mental and daily path, and um, it's a, it's a fresque on several years on how this man uh, captures and uh, and goes through this uh, moment where he realizes that uh, he lives on a on a wasteland. And that uh, what was before is no longer here, and uh, what the cliche represented in a bad way is no longer here, no, nonetheless, because um, there is a it, it's an it's an area that was uh, once very much isolated and kind of lived kind of like the, the pioneers, like the, the people that came to America. And then the, the 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 war on poverty arrived, and uh, they understood they were poor. They didn't know that. And then the mines came came to the Appalachian Mountains, and they suddenly became uh, caught up in this identity of being miners. And and the, the land was wasted, and the jobs went away. And so there's like a huge gap in their identity and in their existence. So it kind of uh, it's a long synopsis. I'm sorry, but kind of is the um, uh, uh, an interior journey into this uh, this period of time yeah because we we i can add some uh, a few words about uh, the cinematic approach of the film because we tried to to develop an immersive and a poetic approach and uh, the film um, offers to enter the life of uh, Brian uh, mm-hmm. who who is our protagonist and uh, to to dive into his uh, stream of consciousness and uh, with uh, with a lead voice of uh, of his poems mm. i think well I, it wasn't too long you you've touched on a lot of uh, points that i think we wanted to to talk about and we'll discuss in in, in more detail um and, and including your your approaches to telling this story i think which is extremely interesting um but let's let's talk a little bit more about Brian Ritchie himself. I mean, um, here's your protagonist. Um, I would call him a hillbilly poet. Uh, yeah. As you say, the word hillbilly, uh, yeah. for those who don't know, I mean, yes, it's, it's derogatory. Maybe not quite as, I don't know, it's like redneck or hick in American English, you know. Um, um, but uh, he's a very interesting individual that you've brought to the to the big screen. So maybe you could tell us a little bit more about about this man, Brian Ritchie. First, first of all, we we met uh, him by chance in uh, 2013 in uh, the parking of uh, of a fast food in uh, in Kentucky. But it was not in the east of Kentucky; it was in the in the west mm-hmm. of Kentucky. And um, he was very surprised to to see some French people uh, in his place and. Um, he he heard us uh, talking in French, and he decided to to come to to us, and uh, we talk a bit, and uh, then he he said to us, "Oh, you know, I can uh, introduce you to the true Kentucky, which is my place, which is in yeah. Appalachia. So if you want to, you can uh, go with me tomorrow." to my place to Appalachia. So that was the first meeting with, uh, with Brian. Yeah, and we were like incredibly lucky to find this man because he's quite, quite a man. Like yeah. he, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. We met, we met him by chance. And uh, so we, we really, it was a really, at first it was really like a friendship, a strong friendship between us because mm-hmm. he was very eager to explain us what was what was behind this expression hillbilly and uh, at first he was very kind of um, 
um, he was quite, uh, at first, he was quite positive. He was in this moment where he was like really finding this insult. So he was kind of taking this insult and trying to make something out of it. Mm -hmm. And at first, it was something that he was really eager to share. And also, while we lived uh, in his trailer in a, in a, like a, in Appalachia, we, uh, the whole time we we filmed, which is like kind of from 2015 2000 to 2019, we lived with him uh, and his family, and so we got to be very close to him. Mm. And he uh, he's a, a terrific poet. He's a very uh, talented and we discovered his texts like he had all kinds of notebooks and we were very struck by his uh, the powerful the, the power of uh, of his words and his poems and um, he kind of instantly became a character like you could mm. like he had this charisma he had this way of putting out in words uh, a very strong um, uh, testimony of what was going on both in his inner world and in the outer world, which was kind of all even bigger than just Eastern Kentucky and what uh, Appalachia was going through. So it was kind of obvious very quickly that this man needed the film to be done with and on him. It was like, uh, it was, uh, we, we, just, uh, we just met this character on the road, you know? 